Hello, Abraham. Thank you. Yeah. All right, this is going to be briefer than you want it to be. <laughs> so, this first conversation, we want you to focus not just so much on what you came intending to talk about, but what hatched in you as a result of what you heard just now. Yeah. Everything you shared shifted what I wanted to ask until now. I know that. And so. We just didn't want you to revert back. Okay, I won't. I'll try not to. Satisfaction and identifying something that I want and moving towards it. What is something that I can do and take away from here and knowing what I now know that will enhance my ability to find and stabilize and maintain my alignment and allow that momentum to build All right, here so it that is. what I here have in the vortex manifests. Here it is. We don't want to be flippant about it. Try less. Which requires a conscious trusting that the process works and that your life has put it there and that it's real and it's big and it's becoming and that it's yours and that it's not going anywhere it's not going to get away from you so your work is not to try to think about it your work is to focus yourself into a state of allowing it into your experience for example this is not about you it's an example can you think of anything that is common in human experience that is troubling to most people relationships and as you think of <laughs> and as you think about relationships think about a primary relationship that is troubling to most people mating so let's focus upon someone in a situation where they have something that they desire relative to another person and it doesn't seem to be coming about and so they have been studying deliberate creation they're hearing it from us and from others they've been hearing it in their society for a long time goal setting intentionality and so they have a sort of determination within them to get this right and so someone maybe like us or anyone is having a conversation with them about this issue that they have and so they say something like yeah I'm having problems with my relationship so you can feel where that vibration is now there's a magnificent relationship in their vortex but they have no access to it because they're so aware of the current relationship that they are living and so they decide to go to work on this relationship so we say well let's talk about it a little bit and then they say yeah it's not good I want it to be better which doesn't give them any satisfaction because it's pulling in the opposite direction of what they want so we say well let's talk about this and then they say well I've been thinking a lot about it in preparation for my conversation with you and these are the things about it that I want to be different I really want us to talk more to be in more communication with each other but in that conversation this person is focused upon not enough conversation with each other I really want my partner to understand me which emphasizes the fact that they don't have good communication and the partner doesn't understand them I really want my partner to come home from work and be glad that we are together which emphasizes the fact that the partner doesn't come home and doesn't seem to be interested and so everything that this person is doing in an effort or an attempt to get it the way they want it to be is actually counterproductive because it's actually talking about things as they are because that's the perspective that this person holds which is the reason that they want to have the conversation further they've been having the conversation with almost everybody they know they're talking about it incessantly they can't find anything other than that and so almost everything that they're doing about this goal that they have or this hope or dream that they have is not satisfying because they are believing that they have to make it happen and in the making it happen they want to analyze it they want to explain it they want to explain their point of view and most of all they want to be the right one they want to be right about this I know I'm right and I know that if my partner would just do more of the things that I think are the right thing to do we'd get along better and so without even knowing it they're just writhing in the discord in their own being when all along over here is this massively improved gloriously wonderful relationship that's waiting for them because every time they struggled they put a positive piece over there and then 
They want to have a conversation about what I should do and what we want everyone to understand about everything that they desire is that they have already created what they want and now they have to find a path of least resistance or a path of most allowance to it which means you can't keep regurgitating how things are because your awareness of how they are is what's preventing you from going where you want to go and that's why we say you got to chill but that requires in most cases and this is the sales job we're doing on all of you here we want you to accept that the process is real we want you to accept that you've already done that step one you have done the asking and that step two has been accomplished because your inner being has been all over it and the resources of the universe and the law of attraction have already gathered all of the cooperative components no matter what it is that you are creating whether it's a love with someone whether it's an empire whether it's a big pile of money whether it's something material it doesn't matter what the desire is it has been vibrationally accomplished now humans you get out there ahead of yourself because it doesn't feel accomplished to you until you can see it and so you keep looking for it where it isn't and then you keep coming to the expectation that it's hard or that it's slow or that it's going to take more goal setting I just need to be more clear I want something I want this thing that I do not have and I want this thing that I do not have and I want it to come quickly because I'm uncomfortable in not having it okay well that gets you nowhere that just nails your feet to the floor and holds you in this place and so you have to accept that it is vibrationally done and if something is done don't you want to move toward it and can you move toward it and away from it at the same time and can you feel that if you feel frustration if you feel tension that you're moving away from it and that when you relax you're moving toward it do you meditate daily do you meditate yes. sometimes <laughs> have you ever seen a movie where the rocket ship is breaking through the atmosphere and the g-force is so strong that you can see the tension on the faces of the bodies that you're watching moving through space their eyes look like they're going to bulge out and their head looks like it's going to explode and you can tell that they can hardly stand it and then all of a sudden they break through and then huh, the relief of that tension is no longer there that's what meditating is like no not quite not quite but, but it's sort of kind of like that sort of kind of like that because your goal is to quiet your mind but when you first start to quiet your mind your mind isn't quieted so you have a sort of internal battle going on because you want to quiet your mind but it isn't you want to quiet your mind but it isn't you want to quiet your mind and it isn't and you're so focused on quieting your mind you can't and so we say listen to the air conditioner it's so beautifully boring you have no judgment about it I've heard better <laughs> you don't feel that way so you just let your mind relax and at first there's a tension there's a tension isn't there you know what we're talking about we're talking about the tension of releasing resistance which is easily accomplished by releasing thought but there's a tension in releasing thought because you've trained your minds to focus and your mind doesn't want to really release thought your mind wants to focus on something and the law of attraction is going to cause your mind to focus on the most active thought which in most cases we love you so much is resistant in nature to some degree so when you meditate you got to focus on something and let that tension be there because it's natural but just keep focusing until you break through the atmosphere you will and when you do sweet relief will come over you that's a state of non-resistance and when you do that we're talking about 15 or 20 minutes to get there when you do that now everything in your vortex you are allowing but we don't want you to think about it we want you to just sit in that relief in that release in that absence of resistance and know but don't know it so much that you're thinking just know that what's in your vortex is now calling you and there's no resistance in you so you're going and as you go 
Now, a thought will occur to you, an impulse will occur to you. And when it comes, think about that. But we're talking about what Esther is writing as she writes her segment of intention, as she's going to meditate. She's begun writing something like this, not the same words every time, but the same intention. I'm going to sit for 20 minutes or so. I'm going to turn off my phone <laughs> and sit in a place where there will not be interruptions. The universe has such good timing. <laughs> and I'm going to quiet my mind. I'm going to quiet my mind by focusing on this sound. Sometimes it's a sound in her house. The refrigerator makes a really nice sound, the condenser. The air conditioner makes a really nice sound, but sometimes it turns on and off. So she has an app on her phone. It's the most spiritual app in the whole world. It's called Central Air. <laughs> it's just this nice, steady, sort of atmospheric buzz that she focuses on. Her statement of intention is, I'm going to focus on this sound, this sound of silence, sort of speak, this sound. And I'm going to allow my vibration to rise. And then this is the key word that she has just discovered recently. And this is everything that we're leading up to with you. And then I'm going to watch the movie if it happens. I'm going to watch the movie if it happens. Not I'm going to create a movie. Not I'm going to take this issue and I'm going to work it over good. Because that's a reintroduction of the resistance she is talking about letting go of. I'm just going to watch the movie. I'm going to watch the non-resistant movie that my inner being has queued up for me. So I have one singular intention, and that is to release any resistance that I have. Okay, now that made perfect sense to you, didn't it? Your meditations are going to be so much more pleasurable from now on. Pleasurable and therefore powerful, but pleasurable is what we're going for. But therefore more powerful, but pleasurable is what we're going for. Because if you go for the power of it, you're going to try to create within it. If you go for the pleasure of it, you'll chill. You'll allow it to be. So you got that, didn't you? Now what we're saying to you is that's the same stance that we want you to now be relative to everything that you want because you've done the work you have sifted through the data you've done step one source has gathered the cooperative components step two is done now your work relative to this subject is to let it be let it come to you don't try to direct it that makes you focus in the same way that we were giving the example of it makes you activate vibrations that are in your way you are so close not to this end result to this never ending pattern and path of results 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 you're not ever going to get it done you're not ever going to get to the end but you're going to have so much pleasure as the universe says here you go and you say I see that and then the universe says here you go and you say I see that the words that are coming from Esther these days are I am bowled over by my now awareness of the cooperative universe that is acting on my behalf. She said it's like problem solution, problem solution, problem solution, problem solution, or question answer, question answer, question answer, question answer. And if the question and the answer are really close together, or the problem or the solution are so close together, then you have that feeling of your hands in the clay, but you don't mess it up by focusing upon a problem when you're not close enough to the solution to let it in.